Good, beautiful November 10th day in New England. Currently like 73 degrees right now. It's really hard to believe. It's 20 degrees above normal. Anyway, I, uh, I'm going to try to do some more videos while I have time. This is a vintage uh, stereo that I, um, I had unhooked because I was having uh, an intermittent problem with the left channel. And I thought it was maybe my connection on the speaker, but I looked, and the this cable's pretty heavy gauge stuff. I don't know what the gauge is on it. Okay, but anyway. Um, so I decided to pull this back out, and I cleaned... Uh, there's my deoxid on the floor. I, I actually cleaned the speaker selection thing. The other ones were a little harder to get at, but they're not... It's not a problem with this radio. This stereo part seems to be uh, uh, no scratch, scratchiness free. So, but this is STA76 Realistic Radio Shack, whatever you want to call it. Um, I'm going to try. I, I, this is new with this particular phone that I'm doing videos. So, I don't know if I can just pause this, but I don't want to have to start another video. So, let me lay this thing flat. Hang on. There goes the screwdriver. Not a hell with it. <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> this is, and I haven't powered it on or tested it before I videoed because I want to see how the left channel is. Uh, STA 76. It's probably, it's a 70s vintage receiver, and I don't remember where I got this from. Uh, let's, let's turn this around. old school stuff and uh, this stuff actually works good so it's got a phono input and I do have a turntable over there and my that's my digital HD receiver but I was going to try doing this without the digital receiver because I don't really re listen to stations that broadcast in digital anyways so I just hooked up the speakers it does have RCA ones for speakers left and right this is A and B and then uh, of course how's all your inputs here your AM bar antenna, your FM section there. This is an IC FET, um, and it does receive well. It did before, um, just with the rabbit ears here. And I'm about you know 13 miles from Springfield, Mass., so it's really kind of like uh, surprisingly how well it works. So let's just make sure everything's down at minimum. Let me see where the balance is on this. Balance, balance is next to the volume. So we'll try to put that in the middle. There's a little click, there's a little click thing you can feel. So volume's down all the way. Bass, uh, let's see. Speakers A, B. Okay, so speakers is A. I wanna, it's on the A side. So let's let's put that on A. And I clean this control along with the this one here for the AM FM thingy thing. So so we'll go to A. Volume's at minimum power oh, i heard i heard the left speaker make a noise and the right speaker so that might be a good thing i maybe it was just the control here i don't know uh, let's see oh yeah i can hear it coming out of the left channel there's a lot of electrical noise in this building Wow, that's a low power AM station and it plays regular music. Oh my gosh. Here on WACE, Father Tom DiLorenzo. Just been sitting in barrels for 23 years. Yes, you don't actually. Uh... Now, I don't have any intent on it. I don't know how well this is going to pick up on FM. Probably not. No, it's not going to pick up really well. I mean, I do have some local stations that are pretty strong. I'm just going to try the rabbit ears with, with no uh, amplification. Happy 
It's in stereo, I can tell. Although the, F the FM stereo lights out. Classic rock. Alexa, play rock 102. I'm surprised my Alexa. <laughs> it did. It, my, <laughs> my Alexa Echo Dot heard that and it, it actually did it. <laughs> Alexa, stop. Oh my god. That's funny. I can tell it's in stereo. So I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna hook up the rabbit ears after, but it seems like left and right. Yeah, that's it is good. I can hear the separately. Yeah, there's the tr treble, and of course the bass. Of course, I can't have much bass because I have neighbors. I mean, it sounds good. Wow, it does sound good. So let's put the antenna on. I want to see if I can pause this. Let me go down to the other end of the band and just put the, the, the rabbit ears on it and I'm by the window that faces Springfield. So hang on. Let me see if I can pause this. Okay, it looks like it's going to continue. Okay, so I, I, put, I put the rabbit ears on. These are just a pair of Archer Radio Shack antennas. And I've got the elements for FM, which is about 29 and a half inches on each side. So I'm going to uh, lay this flat. I think I got it hooked up to the right terminal. It did, the static level definitely got lo louder when I did that. So let me uh, let me pause the phone and let me set this down. Okay. So I can hold this and do this at the same time. So the the the, uh, the static level is pretty good. So we're at the end of the dial. Amazon is a financial support. There's a shadow right there that was station. The Hartford Station. Yeah, that's only a 250 watt station about 15, 20 miles away. It's actually pretty good. 97.7. Yeah, it's it's working. Lots of static today, but it's it's good and strong. Right, so yeah, it's good. All right, so I'm gonna try it like this for a few days on focus, and then um, I'll hook up. The, tur the, the digital one, I don't know if I'm going to hook it back up, but the turntable I will. I'll try a few records and see how it sounds. But Just look at my vintage uh, realistic STA-76 receiver. I don't know, maybe from mid to late 70s. Very good audio. Thanks. Have a good day.